in this video we are going to discuss about er diagram symbols or which can also be called as components entity relationship diagram er diagram is mainly useful in database design so here the first symbol is for entity entity is an object or thing which is distinguishable from other objects so entity is an object which can be distinguishable from another object so student is an entity staff is an entity so every entity has its own properties entity is represented by rectangle so within the rectangle we have to place the name of the entity let name of the entity is student for strong entity also we use a rectangle symbol strong entity means that entity uses a primary key so if an entity contains some primary key then we can say that it is a strong entity so strong entity uses uh, some key field it may be primary key or foreign key it uses key field okay now let us see about the second type of entity the second one is weak entity weak entity is represented by double rectangle symbol so within the double rectangle symbol we have to spe uh, specify the name of the weak entity here name is dependent so weak entity means uh, it doesn't uh, uh, use primary key so weak entity doesn't have primary key okay weak entity always depends upon the strong entity strong entity can also be called as owner entity weak entity always depends upon the strong entity weak entity doesn't uses any key field weak entity doesn't uses primary key foreign key but weak entity uses uh, partial key partial key uh, here dependent let dependent is the weak entity here dependent means let we have uh, an, an lic policy or any policy any policy uh, here uh, this dependent dependent always depends upon uh, the father okay uh, let here uh, strong entity is the employee so employee dependents are children's and uh, uh, employee wife and employee parents so here dependent is nothing but weak entity this dependent always depends upon the strong entity strong entity is nothing but dependent father or dependent husband or dependent children okay dependent uh, children okay so employee father so this is about uh, what is weak entity weak entity always depends upon the strong entity weak entity is always represented by double rectangle symbol here weak entity is dependent dependent always depends upon father next one is uh, attribute attribute is always represented by ellipse symbol if you take a uh, student entity so student entity has various properties rule number name marks so those are specified within the ellipse so name is nothing but an attribute of the student a property of the student next one is key attribute key attribute means if uh, uh, if if the entity uses primary key if entity has primary key then we have to use the uh, this symbol within the ellipse symbol uh, here key means let it be some primary key we know that primary key is unique so key entity means uh, we have to underline that uh, attribute so rule number underline if we underline an attribute then it will become the key attribute key attribute primary key attribute or or single valued attribute single valued attribute means an attribute which has only single value pawn number a, a, a person can have only one pawn number a person can have only one other number so pawn number and other number are specified here so pawn number underline pawn number underline so key attribute or single valued attribute are specified like this within the attribute within the ellipse symbol attribute underline name of the attribute underline next one is multi valued attribute multi valued attribute means we, we use uh, multiple ellipse symbols so multi valued attribute means if an attribute has multiple values a person can have multiple mobile numbers so within the uh, double ellipse mobile number so mobile number is the name of the attribute 
Now let us see the next one. The next one is derived attribute. Derived attribute means we have to use the dash ellipse. So we have two types of attributes are there. Stored attribute and derived attribute. So till now we have seen stored attribute. This attribute, key attribute, single value attribute. Uh, all are uh, stored attributes. Stored attribute means that attribute value is stored in the table. Whereas derived attribute means it is not stored in the table. It is simply derived from the uh, other attributes. Uh, if you take A's, A's is not stored in the table. Only date of birth will be stored. So here A's is derived from the date of birth. So depends upon the date of birth, A's will be calculated. Okay. So here we need to specify the A's here. Okay. So this is nothing but derived attribute. Next one is partial key. Partial key means we have to use ellipse symbol. Uh, next name of the key. Next underline dashed line dashed line partial key means uh, here we use a partial key in uh, weak entity uh, weak entity has some attributes uh, one of the attributes should be partial key only we know that weak entity doesn't uses uh, uh, any key field but it uses partial key but it uses partial key so that partial key is specified with the help of some dashed line like this next one is relationship Relationship. Relationship is uh, an association between two entities. Uh, let me have uh, two entities such as student course. So student enrolled in course. Student enrolled in course. So student is one entity, course is another entity. So in order to uh, demonstrate that association, we use this uh, relation. Relation is always represented within the rhombus or uh, diamond symbol. Uh, or for strong entity also we use as the diamond symbol. We know about what is strong entity. Strong entity is also called as owner entity. Strong entity means it uses uh, key field. So for strong entity also we use as the diamond or ramba symbol. Next one is weak entity. For weak entity we use as, uh, for weak entity relationship we use as, uh, double rhombus or double diamond. Double rhombus or uh, diamond symbol. So here we know what is weak entity. Weak entity, this is weak entity. Weak entity always depends upon the strong entity. So in order to specify the relationship with the weak entity, here we have to use this word double diamond symbol. Dep here let weak entity is dependent. Dependent is the weak entity. So here what is the relationship? The relationship is, let the relationship is policy. So policy is the relationship. So here we have to use this the double diamond symbol let here we have employee employee em employee is not weak entity employee is strong entity so here we use just only one rectangle symbol next one is uh, in order to demonstrate uh, the relationship the association between the weak entity and uh, this uh, weak entity relationship we use just this symbol we use just uh, uh, double symbols double lines like this double double lines like this so it specifies that uh, this is called as identifying relationship it specifies that uh, weak entity relationship is 100 percent here 100 percent here weak entity always depends upon this policy so in order to demonstrate uh, this relation here we have to use as two lines or we can use one solid line and arrow symbol arrow will be towards the this uh, weak entity relationship uh, and let us see some relationships. We, we have several relationships like uh, many to many, many to one, one to one. Let us see how we can represent that. Many to many relationship. So many to many relationship means we didn't use any arrows. So it specifies many to many relationship. We didn't use any arrows on either left or right side. Next we have uh, many to one many to one relationship so arrow will be towards the one arrow will be towards the one here we have to use the arrow arrow will be towards this one or we can have one to one so one to one means arrows will be used towards the left side and towards the right side these are the various symbols or components which are used in the ER diagram